Let's see some interesting design of the socket. Uh, firstly, it's called the independent socket. Usually, we can see it with the air conditioner. That means it's a one socket for one electrical appliances. That's why we call it the independent socket. Usually, why is appear together with the air conditioner because it's used for some item with the high power. So we don't want it to be shared with other electrical appliances. And the other one is called the two-way switch. What's two-way switch? For example, we have two ends of corridor. We want it to able to switch on in one side and switch it off on the other side. Can you think of how can make it works? It's simple. We don't need to have very complicated electronics, but just two wires. Let's see. If we have the two wires on the corridor, one side is A, the other side is B. And we put the switch in this way. Let's think of it, how it works. Then, we can also use different connections to set the rating of the heating appliances, for example, a hair blower. You can see that if we connect it in this way, then we have the lower resistance. Okay, because they are in parallel, we have the lowest resistance. Lower resistance. P equals to V squared over R. Let's think of the magic here. Then, if we connect it in this way, the live and the neutral, without making them parallel, you can see that the equation resistance is R. Then, the last one, if we connected the neutral wire in this way, so that the current pass through them in series. In this case, what's the equation resistance? This time, the equation resistance is equal to 2R. If you still remember, P equals to V squared over R because the voltage is the same as its work in the rated value. Then, for the connection with lower resistance, it will have higher power. So that the left side have the highest power, and the middle one is the medium power, and the right one has the lower power, because the power is inversely proportional to the resistance. Let's take a look at the for example. You can see the two circuit is the same, and it is the heating element of the rice cooker which have two modes the cooking mode and the keeping warm mode. For the cooking mode, it has a higher power. So, when the switch is closed, you can see that they are connected in parallel. And we want to know what is the power if it is at the keeping warm mode. How to compare it? The left side, we have two resistors in parallel, and the other side, we just work in one power. Then, let's consider it. Because both of them have the same rated voltage, we can suppose it is work at 220, or you can use the V0 for it if you don't want to. So that we can find the resistance value, the R. After we obtain the R, the rest is trivial. So for the warming mode, it just connect it to the three R because the switch is opened. We can simply substitute the value into it. Then we can find the power. Surely, you can keep the V as V0 and solve two equations to find the answer.